Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, today we have another story time and today I wanted to talk about how um, Dan and I's relationship um, started with the connection of camp other than the fact that we met there. So Dan and I met at camp we were both campers, um, and then at the ages we met, um, he had only one, one more year, um, where he was, after we started dating, the next year, he was too old to go to the camp that we met at um, but I was still the right age for that and so he went to another camp and that was odd you know it was just it was different um, because we were dating at the time we liked each other and it was just it was different um, our whole relationship in general I feel like leading up to marriage there was just all these things that happened that um, made it you know for great stories or just extra special or whatever and so originally the camp that we went to was ages 7th grade to 12th grade but then they like cut it off and so he was cut off right at the age limit and so he went to the camp that I went to as a cabin leader assistant. And so obviously like he was with the guys and you know, I was a camper. And so we still got to hung, hang out. It was just, it was different. Um, and it was still enjoyable. We still got to see each other. Um, the girls in my cabin teased me because they knew that we liked each other and um, we just enjoyed spending time with each other. It wasn't anything physical or gross or whatever. So we had that year um, where he went off to camp for a week and it was a camp that I didn't go to. I guess technically I would have fit in the age bracket, but it was during the fair. So I just, I didn't go. Um, and then also, that year he worked at McDonald's for the summer and so um, so yeah we had he had his two weeks at camp I had my one week at camp but there just wasn't a lot to it and then the next year he got his lifeguard certification and applied to work at camp as a lifeguard and so that summer was hard um, just because he was busy and I was still, you know, back on my parents' farm doing 4-H and doing my own thing. Um, we did go to senior high to camp together. This was actually, this was the last year that we went as campers. Um, I remember the shirts were bright orange. It was a lot of fun. Um, we had our core group of people that hung out and just we were we were friends and we were a core group of friends I was actually in his brother's um, Bible study group and so that was a lot of fun um, and so I got to know his brother better and it was funny some people thought I was dating his brother and I was like no no I'm dating Daniel and um I don't know it was just it was cool because you gotta understand with camp that a lot of times people that start going to camp start going at a very young age and so like first second grade I wasn't one of those kids I did not start going until seventh grade and so a lot of these kids that were at camp had grown up together and knew each other and had these bonds and had these relationships 
and just had this this friend base that I really wasn't a part of but our last year of camp like that that group of friends we had all went to camp together for about three four years maybe even yeah four four years I'd say and so we we had that relationship build up and we knew each other and we had that bond and it was just it was really special it was a lot of fun um, there wasn't we didn't have a whole lot of kids that wanted to cause a whole lot of trouble and so it was a lot more laid back that year and and just really really enjoyable and so um, I don't know I we just we really enjoyed that so then that year of our last year of camp Dan was also on staff I was not um, I had a friend that could drive and we were in youth group together and she wanted to go visit camp for a few days and so I went up with her um, got to visit Dan got to you know see the camp and things like that so that was neat um, it was it was just kind of different though because I was an, an outsider and and just seeing the camp and not even like yes Yes, I loved Daniel at this point, but I really, truly loved the camp and just the atmosphere and what was going on. And I was like, I just, I really, really want to be a part of this. And um, my brother had went to camp a couple of times, but it was like one week at a time. And then we were just on the farm. And so when I sat there and said, like, I want to get a job, I want to get a job for the summer and I will be gone all summer. Like, that was just, that was different. Um, but my parents were okay with it. My mom drove me up for my interview. Um, my interview was with Max and Rebecca. And they were, they were super sweet. Um, I think they, you know, they liked me as a person. They had seen me as a camper, and just, it was funny. Um, originally, I thought, I was like, okay, I'm going to go in and I'll, I'll, I'll apply for assistant cook. Well, thank goodness, Max and Rebecca are, are, you know, super smart people, and so they're like, you as assistant cook, I don't know about that. But they already had, like, plans in mind. It was just funny that the the only really concern that Max had was like we don't we don't normally have staff members dating and they knew that Daniel and I were dating I mean like we didn't hide it and so um, they're like well how does <laughs> first Max said how does Robert feel about this and I was like well I don't know how Robert feels about it but you know this is how Daniel feels about it you know we'll, you know keep our distance when needed and do our jobs and stay focused on them and you know we're here to work we're here to serve and we won't let our relationship get in the way of that and so um and we didn't it was just it was really nice though because looking back on it and i knew this from the get-go Max and Rebecca didn't have to hire me. You know, they could have hired some somebody that could have drove, somebody that could have done this and that, and just been so much more more capable. But they didn't. They chose to hire me, and they actually created a position for me so that I would have something to do. It was normally the assistant cook or one of the girl lifeguards or whatever that would do like the housekeeping things and just picking up things and getting things organized and that kind of thing. They didn't have a specific job title for it. But when I came, they created a job for me. And, um, and like I said before, like going away, working a whole summer, that, that was something new. That, you know, that was not something that my family had done before. And my parents had their doubts too, and I understand why. 
you know, like, is Brittany going to be able to do this? Is this going to work out? And, you know, come to find out they, they had, you know, conversations with Rebecca and Max. But I'm, I'm very grateful that Rebecca and Max trusted me and believed in me and gave me a chance. Um, and they gave me a chance on a very hard summer. They gave me a chance um, during a summer when there wasn't a lot of funds to have staff. So they asked us to raise our own funds if we could, um, thanks to my parents that it was possible for me to do it that summer. Um, and that was also the summer that Max got sick. And so that, that also was very hard. You know, there was a lot of times when certain things would come up and th certain things would happen and Max and Rebecca would have to leave. And um, we were a very young bunch on staff. Like I was, I was 16, you know, so bottom age that could work at camp. And I was either 16 or 17, anyways. I was young. The girl I shared a room with, she was young and dumb at time sometimes. You know, so we just and we were we were crazy kids and probably a great handful. And then Max was also going through cancer, so that was very challenging and very hard. Um but I never felt so much love from camp um, any other place outside of my parents home it was just you know you think about all the challenges and all the difficulties that Max was going through at the time but he was looking out for me he was looking out for everybody else like it was storming one day and he asked Daniel he's like is Brittany gonna be okay you know you know, how does she react to storms? Is she going to be okay? And Dan was like, yeah, yeah, she'll be okay. It was raining outside one day, and I was outside working on something. And Max is like, here, come over here, get in the golf cart, hurry up, you're sweet, you're going to melt. And I just, I thought that was, you know, so sweet. He was constantly thinking about people, and um, just really, really, both him and Rebecca, they've, they've always been so sweet willing to give us the shirt off their back and um, and I continued to see that more and more each year of camp I didn't mention this and I don't remember what year it happened but there was a year I think it was mad at mad camp where we played this game where we had these we were on these benches and the goal was we were all lined up you know person to person to person facing forward and you took one person on one end and they had to get from the other from one end of the bench to the other side without falling off and whatever you could hold on to people but the goal was to get from one side to the other so I'm standing there and the next thing I know I like started having like a seizure or something like my legs and everything just started spazzing and I'm like just shaking and shaking and shaking I'm standing there like uh this isn't good like this this is this is just not not good and so, and it scared Rebecca, um, but you know, she got me calmed down. She was very calm and just got me through it. And you know, she could have, there was many times, whether I was a camper or on staff or whatever, she could have just sat there and said, you know, Brittany, I just, I don't know that this is a good idea for you to be here because of the fact that you, you know, have other things that you're dealing with, but she didn't. She, she loved anybody that walked through the door. Um, there have been kids with autism to camp. You know, there have been kids with ADHD and just all these different things. All these different kids have had to process. She's had kids from troubled homes. Um, and she's just, she's cared for so many. And um, anyways, I'm one of those kids they gave us a chance um, and I got to know what better way to get to know your future spouse than with working with them because we saw the good the bad the ugly the dirty I mean there was one summer 
that we worked together and um, I had went to like a college retreat and then I had came back and where I went to that college retreat it was really hot but we had a really nice air conditioned place and it was the air conditioning was on high so it was really cold and so I get back to camp we're working in a hot environment with no air conditioning there was one day where I was so dehydrated that I got sick and sick and sick and so Rebecca had to deal with that and um but Dan's brother saw me you know helped me through that and Dan did and just so yeah it if you're really if you're dating somebody or you know considering if you should marry somebody if you have the opportunity to work with them like that's gonna tell you are we gonna be able to get through the bad the good the ugly you know the dirty what's it gonna look like so anyways that is it for today i hope you have a blessed day and we'll talk to you next time bye god bless